both want what's best for your brother. Yeah, but we're pretty far apart on what that is. Well, well, maybe we can find middle ground. I mean, you brought your brother home tonight. That's a that's a great thing. I thought that we could just, you know, us three, figure things out. What do my, you do? My, Michael, do you, do you know why the judge doesn't want you seeing your father? He blames my dad for the cover-up of Claudia's murder. I understand. It wasn't murder, Michael. It was self-defense. He just want me to be like my dad. Okay, and neither do I. Yeah, but you, can, you and the judge can tell me what to do, but you can't tell me how to feel. Uh, dad, I love you very much, but that is not going to change whether I see you or not. If Sonny loved you as much as he says he does, he would try and distance you from his life as much as he Dante, possibly could. Why can't you ever see me in a good light? What? You always see me in a bad light. Why can't you try and make this easy for once? Why can't you actually try and help Michael by doing the right thing? Do you have any idea the kind of hell that I'm living in right now? I don't care what you say. I'm not, I'm never gonna stop loving my children. And whether you like it or not, that includes you. Lisa didn't say one word to back me up. Not one, which I've done for her dozen times with our illustrious chief of staff. What did she say? Nothing. Not a thing. She just stood there, watched me as, as, I, I, as the chief just walked off with the patient that I should have been working on. She knows damn well I'm a better surgeon. And when she did open her mouth, she reprimanded me. She took the boss's side. Did I mention that she's sleeping with the boss? I mean, how adorable is that? And then she doesn't stop there. She follows me back to the bar. No. That's not, brother. To tell me that I'm ruining my career. Oh, well, that's just diabolical. You know, a bar is supposed to be a sanctuary, a cathedral, mm -hmm. right, for a man to find refuge. This is just terrible, terrible. So, I mean, what, what about you? What happened with what happened to you and Tracy? Yeah, man, I'm taking short odds. You and the missus will remove the distance. Well, it turns out the missus ain't the missus, and she found out about it. Our marriage is a scam. We, we, Luke, you saying you guys aren't really married? No, I set it up. Took her to Vegas, got her too drunk to remember, hired an out of work actor to play preacher, forged the documents. I mean, as a con, it was a thing of beauty. Dude, I'm impressed. Hey, anybody who could pull anything past Tracy, in my opinion, gotta have supernatural powers. Well, hold on to your kudos. Turns out I screwed it up. I fell in love with her hard. But I, I love being married to Tracy. She insults me, threatens me, poisons me. <laughs> no, wait, I poisoned her. Hey, well, if that ain't love, brother, I don't know what it is. Well, you know, the problem is, I am pathetic. I mean, she could take every dime I have. Most of them are hers anyway, but the point is, she could take my dime and I would still come crawling back for more <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> Robin's the only one for me I love her with all my heart yeah it's just too bad there's more to man than her heart so this picture came in your regular mail does it mean anything to you, the particular staging of the crime scene? Yes, it, it means Franco is a psychopath who needs to be locked up. Is this the first time you've heard from Franco since he left Port Charles? Do you think that we are pen pals? Because the little contact I had with this maniac was enough for me. Why did you give this picture to Jason Morgan and not your father, the police commissioner. I didn't want to worry Mac. Besides, Franco is obsessed with Jason. He thinks they're artists in death, which is actually kind of funny because Jason doesn't have an artistic bone in his body. Yeah, well, it doesn't have anything to do with art. Franco identifies with Jason on a whole other level. I mean, he, he wanted his approval, but he also was determined to prove that he was better than Jason. At 
murder. Exactly. Thank you for bringing this to me. Anything that will help get that nut job locked up? All right, I'm gonna make sure you get home safe, sir. Come on. I got that. Thanks. Yeah. I need to see you. Now. It's about Franco. Well, it looks like that range stopped. Your toe should be here any second. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. You know, my clothes should be dry by now. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't be stuck here anyway if you didn't come here to warn me, so. <laughs> In all fairness, I am much more worried about Christina. Uh, what is going on between you two anyway? It's complicated. Complicated. I would say that's an understatement. <laughs> Olivia was practically breathing fire. Yeah, she's disappointed in me. I'm not sure disappointed is the word that I would choose, but... You know, us girls from Bensonhurst don't buy into the tough talk. We bruise just as easily as the rest. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm stuck with the couch. Oh, oh, that's a lot better than my prison bunk. I'll take that. You know, I was, uh... I was in a lot of shock when you took me out of Pendleville. Yeah, you know, I was just glad the judge made it right. We can start over. You know, be brothers. I'd like that. Look, I'm sorry you got between me and your dad before you just got out. You shouldn't have to deal with that. You mean our dad? Look, I get that you want to think the best of Sonny, that he's this good man, but... It's not what you say, it's what you do that defines you. you know, my dad taught me how to drive a speedboat. Oh, at the island. I've been going up there pretty much my entire life. And whenever in the business situation got dangerous, Sonny would send us kids up there and he'd come down and uh, take us out to the water and uh, sometimes he'd take us fishing. Sonny fishes? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's really good at it. I'm absolutely terrible, though. But I can drive a boat. Yeah, I can, I can open up the engine all the way and not even lose control. You want soda? Um, yeah. Look, uh, I know my dad hasn't given me that great of a life. He tried, but I saw some things I wish I wouldn't have seen. He's things that I wish Christina and Morgan or Molly never see, but, you know, they're probably better off without him in their life. And I don't know, maybe I am too, but I still love my dad, and I always will. Well, then I guess you must have done something right. I used to like him before you found out he was your father. Yeah, I got sucked in. You know, I guess I should be glad <laughs> that you hate him because, I mean, now you won't try and push me aside. Wait, what do you mean? I'm going to take my rightful place as his uh, firstborn son? <laughs> Dude, I would never do that to you. Oh, I mean, you already have a place, Dante. Dad loves you no matter if you want him to or not. Yeah, I used to feel threatened. Maybe even jealous. But now I, uh... I just feel sad for the both of you. And Dad will never give up on you. And it hurts him when he throws his love, like, right back in his face. And I, I don't know, maybe it hurts you, too.